What are you doing? I'm going to tell you a story. Why? Because I want to. Don't you need a book to tell a story? Well, sometimes, yes. But this story is about how I ended up on this island. You already told me that story. Your boat sunk in the ocean. Oh, well, there's more to the story than just the boat sinking. What do you have there? I drew some pictures to help me tell the story to you. My story begins three days ago. Terry, Glenn and I arrived at the jetty for our fishing trip. We brought our fishing rods, bait, lunch and plenty of sunscreen. What was for lunch? Sandwiches, fruit and a drink. Hmm. What was on your sandwich? I had ham, cheese and tomato. Sounds good. We fished all morning, and Terry was the only one who caught something. But it wasn't a fish. It was an old tire tube. <laughs> we still decided to keep it, though. <laughs> we ate our lunch at midday. However, Glenn was feeling seasick, so he didn't eat anything. Suddenly, Terry felt something nibble at his fishing line. He could tell it was a big one by the weight on the line. He got a bite. Glenn and I helped Terry try to pull the fishing to the boat. We all held onto the fishing line as Terry began reeling in the fish. It was really heavy. Oh my. We struggled for a long time, but finally we had the fish in the boat. It was huge. <laughs> We were all exhausted after catching the fish, and we hadn't noticed that the sun had set. Hmm, what a day. Suddenly, a bright light appeared in the sky. It looked like a shooting star, and it shot down into our boat. The boat began to leak and sink into the ocean. We didn't know what to do. In the distance though, I could see an island, and I came up with an idea. We all held on to the old tire tube that Terry caught earlier and swam to shore. Good idea. On the beach was wreckage from a satellite. Glenn said that it must have been the bright light that fell from the sky and sunk our boat. Hmm. That makes sense. The next day, we discovered there were other castaways on the island who were also waiting to be rescued. You're a very good drawer. A few days later, I found an alien named Harvey who was also stranded on the island. Ha! Huh, that's me! And now we wait, hoping to be rescued so we can return to our family and friends. That was a great story. Thanks for sharing it with me. You're very welcome. Well, now it's your turn to tell the story of how you arrived here. Oh, no. I'm not a very good storyteller. <laughs> oh, just give it a shot. I'll leave the pen and paper here for you to draw on, and I'll come back later when you're finished. Oh, I don't know. I've got a lot of work to do. Got to get the connection ready in. Nathan? Nathan?